Hey guys, I have a lot of people to apologize to for this week. The Roaches, the Hallheads. Uh, I put my heart into those games, and when you put your heart into something and you lose it, uh, it really hurts, and it makes me scared to love again. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, play the next week's Unrattled uh, in the same kind of way I was. I, I think this is going to be a uh, dark arc for me. I'm, I'm not doing too well. Yeah, so... I'll uh, take third place any day. Got points on the board for the team. So um, kind of a tough draw in the first round against Colin. Don't really match up well with him. We kind of play a similar style and he kind of just outpitches me a lot of the time. So, um, but I'm happy to get the points on the board for the team against Andrew, who again, I don't play well against, but I uh, was happy to pitch well and uh, get some points on the board. So we'll uh, see you next week though. So second place for the Astro Pigeons, I'll take it, honestly. The The last game was a little bit of tomfoolery, and it was like all of the, the outs on the bases, but I, I still feel pretty good about it. So I like where we stand. Um, I think that uh, I felt pretty good hitting. I felt pretty good pitching. Uh, so I like. Um, think we're going to be able to build off of this, and uh, I'm going to have to look out for the Astro Pigeons to, uh, to win the whole thing. Yeah, you know, it feels good, but... I'm really happy, actually, to just give my team some points, um, and especially with sta some statements like that. Um, first five-star dinghy was pretty hype, and then going into my game with Lionel, I was uh, a little, <laughs> I was, I was a little uh, messy with the base running. It wasn't uh, entirely all for jokes. I was just kind of really messing up, but it worked out. It's okay. We got the five points. Robo rats for life. Dinger City in the rats are on the board. I'm so happy. I'm happy for you, man. Congratulations. That was a big one for you. What a great week. Random teams was Maddie, Colin, Andrew, and Lionel. You got it. Facing off. Stop. Stop. Did it sound like I hesitated? Because I did. <laughs> um, the the four of them put on a hell of a show, and Colin came out the victor. Great games all around. Let's run it through for you guys. Maddie versus Colin was game one. Maddie was Bowser Jr. Colin was Birdo. Birdo wasted two stars in the bottom of the first, setting up a pretty rough, uh, <laughs> pretty rough go about. Uh, but Bowser got an RBI in the top of the third. Uh, for Maddie, bottom of the fifth, Green Bones caught a Birdo egg for a beautiful out. Top seven, King Boo does a super jump double play at first base. Excellent play from him. Top of the eighth, Magic Koopa hits a double, followed by Hammer Bro Fairball, bringing the game to three to four. Diddy Kong hits a five-star dinger for a two runs in the bottom of the eighth. And then Petey hits a three-run homer that same inning. And Colin explodes. Great game from yeah. Colin, putting him in the winner's side. Game two, we had Andrew versus Lionel here. Early off, we saw a wall jump by Toadette. I believe it was off a of Bowser rip. Top second, Red Para, flaming Hot. Uh, did a bunt against DK. You erase that right now. That's not a highlight. But bottom second, there was a double play opportunity squandered by City Hall. Absolutely ruined. Top four, we did see that double play coming from a hammer bro hit. Bottom five, Bowser hit a home run. Yeah, all right, whatever. Uh, luck, luck happens here and then for uh, those bad characters, you know. PD did strike out bottom six. Uh, Grand Slam was avoided. Those bases loaded with base uh, with heavies. Spooky. We saw a couple home runs coming through towards the end. King Boo hitting two of them. Bowser hitting a three-run dinghy. And uh, bottom eighth, Peach hit brings Mario and Purple Toad home for the mercy. That's just how the Astro Pigeons do it, baby. We yeah. mercy the roaches. We eat them for dinner, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Game three was Maddie versus Andrew in the loser's bracket maddie mario andrew birdo bottom of first green bones hits the first rbi of the game then paragoomba ko bobbles which leads to a couple runs scored that inning oh paragoomba um, also in the bottom of the second the fourth ball is thrown to bowser but maddie swings right through it <laughs> uh, that was rough but you know you got to know that andrew will throw the fourth ball uh top of the fifth birdo egg scores andrew's first run but top of the eighth that was Andrew's last decent inning of batters, and he scored no runs after Boshi caught a heart ball. Such an L for City Hall, honestly. He is this week's biggest loser. Womp womp. Yeah, and instead of a boon, he gets a bane. Um, we slash his tires. And spank him on his bare balls button back. <laughs> uh, game four, we did have Colin versus Lionel trying to get all those juicy five points. Uh, bottom of the first, uh, Yif Daddy, uh, 
Hit caught, no tag on first. <laughs> That's Man, a pretty tough note, You Jack. know what? I'm smelling Hit. burning toast in here. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom second, uh, Blue Noki missed a ball, dove in the outfield, and it let two runners come across. It was a pretty scary spot to be. Um, Lionel getting that early lead. However, Petey hitting a three-run comeback homer. Uh, sorry, it tied the game. Um, I guess it wasn't a comeback, but top four, Petey got walked, uh, bringing in a runner, and uh, this is kind of where Colin started to run away with it. Um, he ended up in top five, getting a Diddy banana double, brought Noki home, he just kept scoring. Yeah, I mean, that whole game, Colin was just kind of stealing on the base pass a ton. I think he had eight outs on the base yes. pass. Yes, yes, he did, which is a which lot. Which is so funny. There's 27 outs in that's a game. That's almost a third of your outs. Yeah, that's insane stuff, which yeah, is really still, funny. But uh, Still won it 10 to 6. Still won it 10 to 6. Um, no meatballs used by Lionel. Yeah, a no couple of opportunities to use him. He had, he had people on base couple of times where a meatball would have tied it, but he he wasn't feeling it. And honestly, I think I agree. A meatball to tie just doesn't have enough value, especially when it's so, it was like the third inning, the fifth inning, things like that. It's just not enough. It's not enough to do it. So I respect the decision. Absolutely. Yeah. I talked with Lionel after the game. He was like, I'm not sure if uh, I was supposed to use him or not. I was like, no, no, because you don't know how many uh, runs Colin can just put together. Yeah. You know, he wound up putting together a ton of them. Uh, so I don't blame him at all. So the boons are still online from prior weeks. The Astro Pigeons have two free meatballs still to be cashed in at any time. That means just a pitch down the middle. And the Gamma Gators have a rematch. If they lose a game, they can call for a rematch, which will be a whole other video the next day. Um, and this week's big winner, Colin, for the Robo Rats, has won the No Drop Spots boon. This boon you can call at the beginning of the week. And what it does is your opponents have drop spots off. No drop spots for them. And we at Dinger City play with drop spots on most of the time. So we are not very good at seeing exactly where the ball is when the drop spots are off. So this could be a pretty big hindrance for any of the rats, uh, like, uh, uh, opponents. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we saw it in the big ball of classic. People were dropping balls left and right. So um, I think it's going to be pretty powerful, especially because it's for the whole week. Yeah, I do too. Uh, so next week is going to be Toy Field. That's going to be a really exciting week. And for the first time this season for the Astro Pigeons playing, we have Jim. The Cyber Roaches have Huge for the first time this season. The Gamma Gators have Coach Bill for the first time this season. And then Jason is playing for the first time for the Robo Rats. Toy Field, all it's going to be is we are playing regular exhibition games on Toy Field, which is just a absolute menace of a field. So yeah, I'm, awesome. I'm very it's excited so to see how that goes. <laughs> uh, we love you guys so much. I hope you all enjoyed uh, this week so far and get ready for next week. Absolutely. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part of this week was. And uh, I think we're done, right? Yeah. Dinger City out. Woo!